their objective remained. It was bone deep. They hated the greenhouse. Its destruction was their only incentive. A proud battalion. Only three fighters left. One was synthetic. The other two, men. Day after day, with eerie composure, the trio soldiered the desert sands. Their shifty, steady movements suggested plasma consciousness. The swagger of providence. The robot went by call sign Twilight. A pear-shaped model retired by the pyramid. Its treadmill ambulatory was a hundred years obsolete. The men despised it. A rolling pear shell. And yet it was too useful to abandon. Its shields, its environmental scans, were indispensable. Its antique strategies for irregular warfare were fascinating. As for each other, the men followed a chain of command. Sergeant Jasper gave the orders. Trooper Owen followed. This structure, its hierarchy, never failed them. The robot spoke. Here comes 200 knots, 3,000 meters, police cruiser. The men ducked their heads. Jasper growled through his teeth, for Pete's sake twilight. 3,000 meters up? Or out? The robot spoke. Processing query. Owen rolled his eyes, a bearing would be nice too. Jasper shook his head just slightly. The robot spoke. Altitude, 2,892 meters, quantized. Velocity, 203 knots, quantized. Distance. They waited. Quit quantizing, Jasper barked. The robot spoke. My sonar is jammed. We're in danger. Engaging shear. The cloak went up around them. Jasper spat a few profanities, then ordered his team to the nearest dune for cover. The cruiser was visible in the emerald sky. It's a long ways off. Yeah, but the droid's right. If they're jamming our scanner, we're burnt. The robot spoke. The men exchanged quizzical frowns. The robot spoke. We've been inside the perimeter for the last 43 hours and 23 minutes, quantized. How is that possible? The robot spoke. They are very precise. And I am very old. Currently debugging. Jasper shook his head. What do we do now? We nuke it. Yeah, if we're close enough. Crouched behind the sand dune, the men allowed themselves a moment at ease. Each carried a short-range atomic rocket. Twilight began its self-diagnostics. Mystical, enigmatic computations with flashing bulbs and glowing panels and spinning drives. Arousing a new contempt in its human companions. Men who never embraced the pyramid droid. Sentient alloys. Nanotech. The same hard line with terraforming. Rejection wasn't sufficient. What their enemy called futurism was perversion. Of divine will. They held to their creed. To their cause. A final hope. The robot spoke. Systems restored. Target is just beyond the next bridge. Jasper growled, let's blow these strip mining bastards back to hell. The trio proceeded onto the naked Fulda sands and around the next monolith to encounter, at last, the colossal prism with its fortress of wonders inside. Out of the emerald sky, the sun beamed godly golden diamonds over the desert plain. Jasper halted his step. Twilight, we're close enough, right? He turned in time to see the pair tank with its cannons unsheathed. The robot spoke. <laughs>